welcome back again to Cruise Away. Your chance to get the most incredible value for every dollar you spend and get the most fascinating holidays to remember yourselves and tell your friends and family about for many a year to come. It's Derek and Joe back again for half an hour of cruising adventures as we are every day. And this show is all about a cruise line we love as a team. And yes. we've cruised them uh, ourselves and love it. The mighty MSC. Yes, we love the MSC ships. So glamorous and vibrant and the most incredible service. And, and there's also so many different choices of things to do on board. Well, in this show, we've got some awesome ideas for holiday breaks for you. And later, an epic 27 night adventure taking you over to the UK for a stay in London, then two cruises around the Mediterranean and uh, to the Norwegian fjords on a ship we sailed on only a few months ago, the MSC Virtuosa. Uh, then for 2025, we have an American adventure to Miami and a cruise of the Caribbean over to the Med on MSC Seaside with a price you can lock in today with a very low deposit. Yeah, and they both sound super exciting. And we're starting off in a bit of style with a holiday Day where your cruise ship becomes part of the biggest harbour festivals oh, wow. in the world. Now, more of that to come a little bit later on. We're talking August in 2025 for a 19 night adventure, starting by flying you from Sydney over to Hamburg in Germany. Now, when we arrive, a very warm welcome awaits you and a leisurely three night hotel stay in Hamburg and it really is a beautiful beautiful chilled city you know I can yeah. say that for the whole of Germany really it's very chilled it's very very relaxed it's a lovely place to just hire a bike generally yes. Germany is as flat as a pancake yeah which is wonderful uh, and until you get outside of the cities of course but the cities themselves are just brilliant they are and, and you, you're there in the height of summer too so it's going to be such an incredible experience enjoying uh, the rivers the canals the beautiful parks um, the classic German fair sitting outside with of course a beer you've got to do it and a pretzel now after your three night stay we're heading on board the MSC Preciosa for 13 nights this is a great amount of time to be at sea isn't it um, the Preciosa is a beautiful ship now these are all Italian vessels so you can expect that magnificent magnificent European flair um, from the decor through to the cuisine on board, that lovely touch that um, everything Italian involves, right? They're known as the country of luxury, whether it comes to food or, you know, incredible clothing. And include, by the way, the boutiques on board really reflect that too, because MSC is known for its fantastic shopping. Um, lots of lovely lounges on board the ship, whether you're wanting to sit and watch the world go by or the ocean go by or something a bit more lively with some entertainment, you know, some live music. They're always going to have something happening. Um, exceptional service everywhere you go. These people are amazing, whether it be bar or restaurant um, or indeed when you are, you know, down there in the boutique shopping till you drop. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And there's a different show every single night. You know, you, you may be on board for two weeks or over two weeks, but there's going to be a different show. They might fly on a magician, um, a cappella singers, and they'll also have the signature cast um, who perform several different shows for you to enjoy as well. So good it's just great. Good chance to meet people from around the world as well, actually, yeah. because this is starting in Hamburg in Germany. Uh, there'll be people from Germany, across Europe, maybe the UK as well, who are taking this cruise with you. And you're cruising up to the Norwegian fjords on yes. this one. You're going to love it. Yeah, our first port is lovely Bergen in Norway. Oh, this is divine. I love Bergen. From the incredible colourful houses to the cute little coffee shops and the fabulous little hidden winding streets, this will definitely um, be somewhere you'll want to return to. Molde is next, which is an interesting off-the-beaten track port in Norway, um, known for its incredible fjord and the Atlantic Road. But if you want to take a tour of the marble caves or a mussy whilst you're in this port. Then we're on into Trondheim. Uh, it's the, uh, the old city here that really captures people's imagination with its lovely avenues and 17th century wood buildings um, and you are up there in summer so strolling around these ports 
thoughts is going to be an absolute must and, of, must and of course you have the midnight sun at this time of year. Alison's up next and we're actually really high up into the North Cape here but of course in summertime you still have that really nice weather. Runda Island again those colourful houses sitting there harbour side with a glass of wine in hand is a lovely thing to do. And then we're on into Malloy and you have four lighthouses to visit on this island. Um, lovely little passageways and incredible um, art culture. They have lots of murals around town that you can spot as well. Do a little art walk. Then we're on to Vicky Song. It sounds like an epic uh, Viking novel, this port, for some reason. <laughs> uh, you've got, you can do a fjord safari, actually, whilst you're there. Do speak to your shore excursions team because they'll have tons of suggestions for you whilst you're in port. Stavanger is up next, uh, one of the top favourites, I'd say, for on these on this particular itinerary. Um, you can visit the Sword in the Rock, which is an iconic monument right there at the port as well. And there's the uh, excursions to enjoy, including an Iron Age farm and cathedral. Then we have an overnight in the nation's capital, which is brilliant, uh, which will enable you to see a little bit of the nightlife of Oslo. Uh, but you definitely want to visit the ski jump, the open air museum, um, and do some highlights. Then we're up back into Hamburg for an overnight on board. Now this is going to include um, an incredible entrance parade into Hamburg, the beginning of uh, the biggest harbour festival in the world, the Hamburg Port Anniversary, where more than 300 ships sail along the Elba towards the harbour. So this is going to be a really impressive spectacle for young and old, I have to say. Yeah, and a once in a lifetime experience. And your ship is part of the parade yes. as well. It's one of the biggest in its kind, if not the biggest of its kind, yeah. um, in the world. So, I mean, what great timing, hey? Yeah. What amazing timing to be part of something that's really, really interesting um, and different. This is a wonderful part of the world to go and cruise to as well, up to the fjords of Norway. Um, I've seen at least two ports on this itinerary that I've never seen on a cruise itinerary before, which yes. is uh, brilliant, Molloy um, and the uh, the Viking one, the Viking sounding one. Some of them you <laughs> won't be able to pronounce, by the way. Um, and some of them you'll do your homework and some of them you'll look up on a map to see what there is to do in these places. But don't worry. Uh, that you haven't heard of some of these places because, as Joe says, the MSC excursions team will have lots and lots of information on the place you're going to, so what is actually there if you want to just wander, and also the excursions that are available to go and see attractions nearby as well. I'm really excited for you on this one because this is such an amazing and varied holiday. Remember, this comes up in August in 2025, but we can secure it today with deposits of just $300 each, which is brilliant. So, your flight from Sydney to Hamburg in Germany included three nights in a hotel, in a great hotel in Hamburg included, then your 13 night cruise on MSC Preziosa and you're cruising up to the fjords of Norway, the land of the midnight sun, including the overnight stay in Norway's capital Oslo, which is brilliant. And then you'll finish the cruise in style in Hamburg as your cruise ship is part of that big harbour festival. In fact, the biggest in the world, the Hamburg Cruise Parade. And then of course, we will then fly you back to Sydney from Hamburg. $300 each today deposit. Here is your price tag for that entire holiday. And it's a meaty one, this one, isn't it? 19 nights of holiday and really interesting and really varied and fantastic to be part of that big harbour festival as well. That's going to be super exciting. And if you want longer stays um, in Germany, uh, maybe you want to move on to Berlin or fly to France or to the UK or to Spain maybe uh, from Hamburg and have a longer stay, then talk to the team. We can make that happen for you very, very simply and easily. Here's the details for upgrades on the cruise, uh, which is brilliant. You're going to have a brilliant time with MSC. They are a fantastic cruise line. Their cruise ships are delicious and gorgeous and have that lovely Italian flair. They're very smart. The service on board is just incredible, really, really nice. The variety of food available, there's something there for everyone, let me tell you, to the smart, you know, main restaurants, which every night feels like an occasion. 
The shows are great. They're, they have that really kind of visual edge to them because, of course, uh, with MSC, you've got people with, you know, uh, from various countries, different languages that are on board as well. So the shows are very visual and that makes them very spectacular as well. If you want to know more, call us toll free right now. 1300 407 687 is that telephone number to dial. And of course, many more offers from MSC and the major cruise lines all on our website, cruiseaway.com. Dot .au Right, we're staying with MSC and we're going in a different direction right now. You're going to love this holiday. You're going to love the variety in this holiday, yes. don't you think? Yes, we are going to uh, really the quintessential place that everyone thinks about when they think about cruising, which is the Caribbean. But we're also heading to the Mediterranean. So you get the best of both worlds. Amazing. Everglades and the Mediterranean is going to be your adventure for 28 nights, leaving on the 4th of April 2025. So booking into the future, allowing you to secure and lock in these prices, uh, which are to die for, as you've just seen with MSC uh, there. Uh, we're going to be flying you from Sydney to Miami in the USA for a two night pre cruise stay in fabulous South Florida. One of my favorite places in the world. You have a beautiful climate all year round in Florida. You're there in April, which is their spring, but it still feels like, you know, tropical summer. Um, and South Beach is a lovely place to visit because they've got um, an incredible culture there, lots of art. Um, you've got the Deco District, which is um, incredible. If you love architecture, you are going to be enamored by this particular place. Uh, they're known for their amazing outlet malls as well, Florida. Loads of deals to be had. Maybe you'll take a sunset sail out onto the river and watch Miami sink away on the horizon. Oh, sounds like a dream, doesn't it? Cocktail in hand, of course. Then it's time to cruise and we're heading on board the fabulous Seaside class MSC Seaside for 23 nights. She's a dynamic, exciting, uh, fresh venture from, N from MSC off the chop I mean we, we go straight in with one of the best features of the ship there which is the Venti chocolate shop and they oh. have got the best hot chocolate I've ever tried in my life yes so good tequila mint hot chocolate I remember very very well <laughs> um, it's incredible you'll love these ships now um, the seaside class is as the name suggests it's all about connecting you with the sea so um, it's it's full of windows everywhere, fantastic views, wonderful top decks. And up on the top deck where the main pool is, there is something going on almost 24 seven, let me tell you. Yes. It might be uh, salsa lessons during the day. It might be a quiz, chances for you to win big. So many attractions, so many features for the whole family to enjoy. And of course, the glory of those wonderful Swarovski staircases. Oh, iconic. Yeah, you've got to have your picture taken with the Swarovski staircase. They actually have a really great zip line, as you just saw uh, pictured on the top of the ship too, which is super fun. And imagine that, like drinking in the Caribbean sunset um, and just enjoying this amazing viewpoint over the ocean. Yes. Um, the ship really comes to life at night as well, and you are going to be awash with different cultures, with it being an Italian vessel, you pick it up in America, you meet so many people from all over the world. So cruising out of Miami, and our first port is going to be fabulous Phillipsburg St. Martin, where French and Dutch come together in this incredible island. Take a water taxi over to the Front Street Pier where you've got a gorgeous beach and shopping right there. Then we're on to St. John's Antigua, which has 365 beaches, one for every day of the year. There is a wonderful little key there called Red Cliff Key at the port with wonderful craft market to shop as well. Uh, then we're heading on to Bridgetown Barbados, where you can visit the iconic Harrison's Cave. You can head to Mount Gay to do some rum, rum tasting um, or enjoy an Atlantis submarine experience right down underneath the ocean, seeing the incredible marine life. Um, all this is on offer. Speak to your shore excursions team. Hopping across the pond, a few days at sea seasons into Funchal Madeira for Mount Toboggan, where you can actually ride down uh, the mountain in giant wicker sleds. More sun, fun than it sounds, I promise. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great thing to do there. Then Lisbon awaits us, and this is the iconic cultural capital of Portugal with the Geronimo's Monastery, a lovely wooden trams uh, to, to ride as well. But there is also Cascais not too far away where you can see the iconic royal palaces. Um, then we're into Valencia with its beautiful Quatro Serranos, which is the marker to the old town of Valencia. And it's incredibly modern La Oceanography 
Magnifique, which is a beautiful aquarium and the Arts and Sciences building. So old meets new in Valencia. Before we reach Palma Mallorca, um, which is one of the beautiful islands, um, the Balearic, just off the coast of Spain. Um, very relaxed vibe there. Take a little drink on the ocean side or maybe head into the old town. Uh, then it's Palermo in Sicily beautiful, a cultural feast really, a combination of East, West, Arab, Norman, quite like any other city in the Mediterranean. You're going to love this. Grab a cannoli while you're there. It has to be done. Um, then we're into Naples, which just has so much culture. Where do we start? Well, Pompeii, I mean, you could spend a week there, but a day is plenty to see this amazing city that was buried, buried under ash and rock for thousands of years. Amazing. Then it's Livorno, and this is gateway to the iconic Leaning Tower of Pisa, where you've got to have a selfie, or you might want to head into Florence for the day, uh, just a hop, skip, and a jump away on the train or by excursion. Uh, there's also this Cinque Terre there. Marseille's up next um, in beautiful south of France, so it's the largest port in the Mediterranean and actually France's second largest city as well. Uh, take a city drive and visit the Notre Dame de la Garde or a guided hike in the footsteps of Cézanne. Then we're going to disembark in Barcelona, uh, Spain's cultural capital, and you've got two nights in a hotel to en enjoy uh, this amazing city, which offers you both the ocean and the mountains with incredible architecture in between. You have up in the mountains, Monjuic, they, there's even um, a, you know, a fair up there. And then down on Oceanside in Barcelona to Beach, you have um, you know, a, a nice relaxing vibe, but also in between some of the best Gothic um, and nouveau architecture on the planet, including the iconic Sagrada Familia Cathedral and Parque Güell by Antonio Gaudi. Um, they are must-sees whilst you're in this city. Then we're going to be flying you back to Sydney after this. I mean, I just don't even know where to start. What an adventure. Miami, through the Caribbean, across the pond into some of Europe's hotspots, finishing off in Barcelona, and then a flight back to Sydney. It is all included in this itinerary, which, I mean, I think this ticks so many boxes for those of you that want to travel both these places. Feels like almost like a, a, a world part world cruise truncated yes. off of this, doesn't it? It's, it's a, you're covering a lot of ground, a lot of different destinations on this one. Of course, you've got plenty of time to do your homework and your research on all the places you're going to, because this holiday doesn't happen until April in 2025. It's 28 nights. It sounds like more, actually, doesn't it? Um, you can book it in right now for a low deposit of just $300 each. So included in the price I'm about to give you, the flight from Sydney to Miami in the States, two nights in a hotel there, 23 nights of cruising with MSC on the seaside, out to the idyllic Caribbean, across the pond to Madeira, Portugal, Spain, France and Italy, including ports for Valencia, Naples, the port for Florence and Pisa. You end the cruise in amazing Barcelona and you stay there for two nights in a hotel. That's included too. And the flight back to Sydney. Well, we said the deposit was low on this one. $300 each today to guarantee this price here for 2025 is pretty incredible. I mean, that's a lot of globetrotters for a brilliant price tag. I'd happily, happily recommend that to you, especially at that price tag uh, and such a small proportion of that as a deposit now to lock in that price because once that deposit's in, that's it. Price locked and guaranteed. Here's the details to upgrade. Amazing. Uh, and Seaside is a lovely, lovely ship as well. She's one of the newer uh, MSC vessels and there are lots of them and lots more to come in the future as well. So if you've sailed with MSC in the past, but you haven't yet sailed with the Seaside class and there's quite a few ships in that Seaside class, I would absolutely recommend it because again, they've changed the game again all over again with MSC, but still that same wonderful Italian style, glitz, glamour, service, uh, variety and choice. And that's what cruising is all about in 2023. And guess what? Even in 2025 as well. Right, we'll move straight on then to our next itinerary. Now, this is lovely because this is just such a beautiful, it's kind of like the scales of justice. It just works so beautifully together. Oh, I love that. It's called Fjords and Flamencos. It's 27 nights all told, and it's for August next year. So on the 27th of August next year, we'll fly you from Sydney over to London in the UK. And we'll start the holiday with three nights in a London hotel. 
Oh gosh, Joe, what would you do first in London? London calling. Oh my gosh, <laughs> um, Tower of London. You've got to walk to T Tower Bridge, and you know you walk along the glass floors, yeah. and you can see uh, the city underneath. So cool. Crown Jewels yeah, in of the Tower, Tower of London, London of course. Yeah. Uh, London, Eye. London Eye. Yeah. You could do all of this walking distance along South Bank as well. Take go a, see a big show. Go to see a big show yeah. in the West End. Um, you know, hop on, hop off bus, which gives you a good overview. Some shopping in Covent Garden and Oxford Street is a must as well. And that's just a few ideas. And that's just a few. Uh, go and see the cheeky squirrels in St. James's Park. Oh, then yeah. it's time uh, to go down to the port of Southampton where you are going to be boarding the MSC Virtuosa for 21 nights. You've got two back-to-back -back cruises here, which is lovely. So it gives you, just when you've started to get into your cruise, usually it's time to come off. Yeah. But when you've got an extra cruise lined up, that's like a kind of um, smug little feeling that you can think of when you're on board, right? And this and this is the ship, Joe, that we cruised um, together with the TV team earlier this year. It certainly is. We had an amazing time on board. And let me tell you, the great thing is, if you're cruising with friends, you're cruising with family, you could all go off and do different things. So there are real places where you can go and escape with your book and just have some me time away from everyone else. But if you want to be part of the cut and thrust, again, up on that pool deck, all day long, something going on. The Galleria you just saw in the middle there is kind of like the heart of the ship. All the big bars are there, the speciality dining, things like the TV lounge, which is one of the entertainment venues, to go and do karaoke, etc. We yes. did teppanyaki, didn't we? We did. We did. And we loved that. Was that. Really, if you like a kind of theatrical, interactive dining experience, that's a great one to do. Um, not only is the food fantastic, but of course your host interacts with you and makes it a fun evening out. A butcher's <laughs> cut is also delicious. Yeah. These have a nominal fee, but it is worth it when you think about what you'd pay for a top-notch notch restaurant oh, back home in incredible. Melbourne or Sydney or Brisbane or Perth. You know, this is going to be, you know, a drop in the ocean. No pun intended. <laughs> uh, had to be done, right? Um, and then when you look, at the, the, the spa there is fantastic too. They've got a ton of treatments, you know, everything from massage through to... Things like acupuncture, tweakments, you can have your hair cut and coloured. And the parties they have in that big galleria oh as well. Oh my gosh. There's, there's white night, you silent have a white disco. night on your cruise. Yeah, silent disco, which is brilliant, because if you're not part of the silent disco, it looks funny, <laughs> it looks great. Um, and they do have just these, you know, impromptu parties going on around the ship. You are going to have such a great time. You just saw Rob, who was the robot robotic barman there, uh, serving up the drinks with an extra twist. The entertainment is fantastic. We heartily recommend this ship. We've sailed on it. She's beautiful. Yes. 21 nights on board then. Wow. And a couple of days at sea sees us into Alessand in Norway, where you really do step back in time, um, uh, you know, when you go to this incredibly tranquil port. Talking of that, there's this short excursion called Step Back in Time, where you can walk through Alessand and enjoy coffee and scenery. Then we're on into Flam, and Flam's known for its extraordinary railway, one of the most dramatic train rides in Europe, and it takes an hour to cover 10 miles, hugging cliffs and plunging through tunnels and terrains in this <laughs> amazing adventure. Heigerzen is next, and uh, this is the site of Viking King Harald, who united Norway as a kingdom in the 9th century, and there's a big statue there in honour um, of, of course, the king. Back into Southampton. Now, most people will be disembarking, but you've got a day at leisure where you can head to historic Bath or even just into Southampton, uh, which boasts a lot of great shopping. Maybe back into London. The choice is yours. Then we're off to the Mediterranean. Lovely juxtaposed there from Norway. Uh, Lisbon's our first port in fabulous Portugal, the iconic cultural capital of Portugal. Lots of things to visit nearby Lisbon, but you know, whilst you're there, take the time to enjoy the city. The Belém Tower, the oceanographic uh, both things to see there. Cadiz is up next and this is the gateway to fabulous Seville where you can see the world famous Alcazar, this beautiful Moorish palace is um, a way to explore an entire day to be, a way to be honest um, and speak to your team about that booking excursion for that one. Then it's Morocco, Casablanca where you can rock the Casper. You, you, you have to go and see the old Medina there, it's amazing. Um, beautiful Moorish architecture and souks so you can do a spot shopping and negotiating if it's your thing. Then we're on to Lanzarote in the fabulous Canary Islands, where, which are very geothermal. So you can see uh, geysers and thermal springs, but there's some great 
volcanic beaches there as well with the black and red sand to enjoy. Um, before we head into another of the Canary Islands, Grand Canaria for its dunes. You could do a dune safari actually whilst you're there or four by four adventure. Um, Mr. P recently did that one of the Canaries, didn't he? The next one coming up, Tenerife actually. But these are great ports to enjoy the sunshine and relax. Great whale watching there. In Tenerife, you could do like a four by four adventure. Maybe you want to head into the uh, world famous UNESCO T-Day National Park for the volcano. They've done a lot of filming for Hollywood movies there, in fact. Um, and then a day at the water park is, is an offer. Funchal Madeira is um, on our itinerary next for its lovely botanical gardens, or perhaps a cable car up to Mount Toboggan to get a gorgeous overview of these amazing uh, buildings, Portuguese buildings, get some port wine while you're there. Vigo is next on the itinerary for the beautiful CS Islands, but perhaps more well known for Santiago de Compostela, the great city of the pilgrims. You can go and see the grave of St. John the Baptist whilst you're in that cathedral. Cruising back into um, Southampton and what you're going to be disembarking and we're flying you back home to Sydney so you've got your end-to-end -end flights included you'll stay in London you've got two cruises on the Verts you are so the first one of course of Norway and the second one into the Med so uh, you're hitting you, you're really like you know knocking two things on the bucket list oh, here aren't you honestly you've got um, some of the most popular cruise itineraries in this part of the world, let me tell you, uh, you're going to love it. It's for August of next year, and this is just a brilliant, fantastic trip for the Culture Vultures. Such contrasts here over 27 nights. So your flight from Sydney to London included three nights in uh, a London hotel included. Cruise time, double cruise, remember, from Southampton in the south of the UK on MSC Virtuosa. And you'll love her service style, entertainment, fantastic food. What's not to love? You'll be cruising for three weeks on a double cruise, first up to the fjords of Norway and then a cruise to the Med, to Portugal, Spain, Morocco, the Canary Islands and Madeira. End that cruise back in Southampton. And of course, the flight from London to Sydney is included as well. You can secure this today for a low deposit of just $1,300 each. Your price tag for the whole big adventure. And remember, this is not that far away if you think about it. It's only next year. 6799 per person. It is incredible. Now, you can put a smaller deposit down on that today to secure the deal. And here are the upgrade prices, bearing in mind that you're on two cruises here back to back on MSC Virtuosa. Do you know what? You, you will come back from that cruise, seriously, if you love your cruising and you've never cruised before with MSC absolutely heartily recommend the MSC Virtuosa because she has just a little bit of everything for everyone and if you are taking the children you know I mean take people of all ages on a cruise ship like this brilliant for multi-generational parties you'll be meeting people from all different parts of the world as well the phenomenal value that you get on board one of these cruises is you, you will just come back from it and think gosh I can't believe just how much that cruise offered me for the price we paid yeah. It it's, is great. It's unbelievable. You're going to love it. Um, call us right now. Remember, 1300 407 687 is our toll free telephone number. We're here to talk to you seven days a week. And of course, we're backed up by our website. There are over 9,000 different offers on our website right now. And they instantly, as soon as you choose an offer, it's there straight away. Straight. It's so good. Cruiseaway.com. Dot au. There's no lag on our website, is there? Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, get on it, on it, all over it. Get these <laughs> locked in for now, for the future. Uh, get ahead of those obvious price hikes. I mean, it's just a matter of time. We want you to be travel secure. Get booking. Absolutely. See you back here very soon. Take Ca care. Catch you later.